just a quick video on the heater control here my front facing ones weren't working uh, it would go from the windscreen windscreen feet feet no bother but if you went to go to it does now because I've got the cable off but we'll get to that uh, and you would go for your the front facing ones here it'd be really hard and then it would just jump past but they would never work uh, and reason being is the cable that controls the the flap in the dash or wherever it is is braided and this is this is the one I've took off and you see well I sort of straightened it but it kinks there and I don't know if you can see that and and once it's kinked once no matter how good you straighten it that it takes that much force it, it just kinks again it's no good so there's a replacement I've got which is solid like the rest of them because there's two others in there so just got that off eBay I think it was 13.95 brand new so I'm just going to change that and hopefully it'll sort them so they've never worked since I've had it this was a taxi so it's had a hard life so all you do is is you just whip that off and then there's uh, two two Torx screws here and there and then to help your life take glove box out you've got one here that one's missing one there one two three there and then one at the back there and then the full glove box will just pull out uh, once them two are out say so this just pulls off uh, take your radio out first mine just pulls out but yours is maybe different if it's a standard one and then and then I'll just do that now right so I've, I've pulled this off and uh, you've just got to unplug these here and then that'll just pull right off so now that's out of the way uh, there's six torque screws here what one there one there and then that bit just comes off that's just by itself and then there's these four here for the control unit thing so just a tip for you is once you've got these four out uh you then sort of push that side back whilst pulling this side forward like that but make sure you have that on on that setting because if you have it on any other then the cam what turns at the back gets in the way and, and you just can't pull it out or you'll be fighting so have it on that cam's out the way and it'll just just pull out like that and then pull it to the side and then that's that's that clear unplug these connections back here and then and then yeah that's that so I've just put it back on just to show you how to remove it so that's what it'll look like on yours this is the bit that kinks see the others are all solid like that in and the yellow one there solid why this one's braided, I've no idea. Just for some reason. <coughs> but <coughs> so when you go to put it on the front facing ones, see how it goes down there. It's working at the minute. Well it's it's going in at the minute because it's not connected the other end. But when it is, it just gets to the gets to there and just kinks and won't push it in. So how to remove it, you just get a flat headed screwdriver just on there and then just prise it and then that'll tilt round and then you just push it out and then this just, you just swing this cable round and then there's a gap and it'll just push off. 
Now I'll just show you now, I've just popped it with the flat headed screwdriver and then it just swings round and then it just pushes off like that and then that just can't really do it with one hand Right, so I've took the glove box out and yours, well you'll see where yours is because it'll still be there but it rooted along there and back of there and how it comes out is what I showed you that clip there it's well, I'll show you similar setup it just pushes in swings round and clicks in but only it, it's a ball it's a ball which just clicks in in its place oh I don't know if I can so you can just see there uh, that's the black bit where it clips in and then that white thing that's reflecting the light that's where the ball uh, just clips in so I'll feed my cable through and then I'll show you what it's like right so it's it's easiest to clip the ball in first don't think you can see Well, anyways, it's easier to clip the ball end in first and then leaving this bit out here, shining your torch in there, just just pushing that bit and wiggling it and you'll see the position it's meant to be in and then when it's in position, just flick it round with your finger and, and click it in. So I've just clicked mine in now and I'm just doing it with my hand here. Can you see where it moves? So I'll just put this end on here now, and then we're about done. So that that's on now, and it's all working. It's all working fine. Uh, the moving, both both of them's moving. But here's a here's a top tip. When you're going from here or anywhere to here or here, then always go anti-clockwise see it turns effortless it turns with ease that way but once you're past 12 o'clock and you go to turn that way I'm not going to force it but you feel it, it hits a it, I think it's the way that the cam's set up so I think that's why the bend is people just Force, force it past and it doesn't like it, doesn't like it at all. So always go anti-clockwise. You can go clockwise from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock because that's not where the issue is. But just good habit, just always go anti-clockwise. Right, so I'm just going to put it back in and that's it, job's done.